All right, you guys, just real quick before the video starts, I hope you stick around till the end of this video because the guy who runs the whole entire um, e-bike competition and just bike competition and owns an e-bike store, he actually, I did a little interview with him, super cool guy. Um, yeah, uh, oh my gosh, what's his first name? His last name's Herman. But then we also had a, a few fans who we ran into, which is really cool. Um, it's so cool to be recognized up here. But anyway, I love you guys. Hope you enjoy this video. There's a live band, some e-bike stuff, a walk through the village. Just hope you enjoy it. Take care. Woohoo! Okay, October 7th, 2023. We are cruising through the village. As I told you guys in the previous video, they're having something called like drinking in the village for a cause. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Okay, so yeah, drinking in the village for a cause. It just seems like it would cause more problems than good causes, but it is what it is. I know there's a big live band playing up here, so we're gonna go check it out. There's already a bunch of uh, people enjoying that liquid courage. So glad I don't drink anymore. But then again, unlike a lot of you guys, I couldn't drink like a gentleman. For me, one drink is too many and a thousand is not enough. For those program goers, you know what I'm talking about. I really had a problem with alcohol. I was put through nine rehabs and two sober living treatments, or two, two sober living houses from the point when I was 13 years old. Not just for alcohol, but as I got older, it was just for alcohol. And I'm very, very thankful that I can manage to be 10 plus years without a single sip of that really dangerous demon called alcohol. Again, though, I'm not like a lot of you who can have a couple sips of a drink and set it down and be fine. I can't ever not finish a drink, and once I start, I can't ever have just one. If I relapsed today, I would probably be as bad as I was um, within a couple days, I guarantee you. I'd be in a really bad spot. But yeah, I can't believe how busy this place is. This is intense. As I said, there's a live show up here. We're not gonna do the whole entire village. We're just gonna go to the, the live band. I sure hope the live band's still playing though. So, let's get through here real quick. Okay, the live show is right over here, on the right hand side. So the live show, for those of you coming up here right now, is on the corner of Pine Knot and Village Drive. There's a huge stage. There's no live music going on right now, though what's going on here? That's, that's quite, quite unfortunate. There's the humongous stage. Oh, that's such a bummer. I might not be posting this video or I'll just post them together because the... Uh... All right. There's not much going down on this side of the village over here. So that's why we're gonna avoid going that way. So, a bunch of people trying to sell their e-bikes up here, which is cool. But that's unfortunate, you guys. I thought we were supposed to have some live music going on here. But, it didn't really pan out, did it? I wish I could hang out. There is somebody going on stage right now, so let's see what they're doing. Are they getting ready to play again? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So hang tight, I'll turn it on when they start playing. All right, those guys on stage are about to start playing. 
So let's just start cruising in here and take a nice little browse of everything. Let's see what we got going on over here. This is a whole e-bike thing. You got a bunch of cool stuff. You, cool little trinkets you can come up here and buy. Cool little jewelry. Most of it has to do with bicycles. Cool stuff. Everything's all about bicycles here. That's super cool. Some of these great bikes. These e-bikes these e have become so much more affordable. I they're little kids, you watch them talk, they just chat. Okay, check out these other little tents. I thought maybe they were selling some of these. But, oh, yep, yeah, they are. 1700 for that one, 2000 for this guy right here. So an e-bike like that's two grand. I mean, these things are great. The only thing I never understood is, isn't a bike supposed to be for like exercise and stuff like that? But I guess for people who can't afford a car, it is a really great, great idea. Never catch me wearing one of these. Even though I'm not talking smack, I think everyone looks good in spandex, but not me, not me. I am just not the spandex king. So, let's see here. Hope you guys start playing. Let's see here. Short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts. They're selling a whole bunch of stuff here. Bike grips, sleeves. Very, very cool. Hey! How's it going? <laughs> nice so, to see you. We live next door to uh, Austin, out in Boulder Lake. Okay, yeah. And, and I yeah. think you're a friend of yours. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The last one that you did with the uh, 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 Solarium. Yeah, yeah. One of the best ones that you've ever done. Seriously? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get, because the and more, Gives me the ability to go do other things than just the weather up here. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a good justification. If because people were confused when I started going hiking and, and doing boat tours and stuff, but you know the and more lets me get away with it. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing here? Uh, this is the Grizzly 100 Grand Fondo, and it, right here we have lots of raffle tickets. We're selling raffle uh, tickets for all kinds of prizes and. Okay, okay. So, are you guys going to be here tomorrow also? I don't believe so. So this is it? Okay, okay. Because I'm trying to get them to come up here for uh, as many of them who want to come enjoy a nice, beautiful weekend. Maybe one of the last beautiful weekends we have all season, so, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Make sure that you are, um, that you get the Grizzly newspaper, because I think I'm one of your Definitely drove through the village today and I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah. So, oh, oh, okay, so the Grizzly will tell me everything. Yeah, it has events coming up. Okay. Yeah. One more time, what was your name? Stacy. Stacy. How cool is that, you guys? Well, Stacy. Thank you. Very nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks for noticing me. <laughs> how, how cool is that, guys? She, she was like, hey, Big Bear Weather Guy.
Awesome. Happy Saturday, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Alright, right, so we're gonna head back now. Just wanted you guys to see kind of the little party that's going on in the village. And as I said, it's uh they got something called drinking in the village for a cause. Uh, what's that cause to get a DUI? <laughs> I mean seriously. I just don't like that at all, but call me old fashioned. Call me a prude. Just don't call me late for dinner. Okay guys, well, I'm gonna say goodbye for right now, but I love you guys very much. Thank you for cruising. Again, this was just a quick browse through the little parties that we got going on up here. Hope you enjoy it. This is gonna be the second video today, so I hope it's not overwhelming. As I said, the first one might not even get played, but I sure hope it does. You take care guys. How's it going? I was gonna introduce myself. I'm Derek Kerman. I'm, I'm the Nick. founder in the whole Grizzly 100 and Bear Valley Bikes and really the anniversary of the Grizzly 100. Nice man. Yeah. So I saw your YouTube, just, you know, doing your thing. Yeah. And I thought, hey, I'd like introduce myself and you know, if thank you, have any you. Questions or thank want to know anything or. So how often do you guys come up here? How often do you guys have these parties? So this is uh, once a year for the last 10 years. Okay. It is uh, finals of the Ultra Endurance National Championship Mountain Bike Series. Okay. Um, it's called the NUE. Um, it's a, the, the premier event in this is 100K with 10,000 feet of climbing. Um, <laughs> it's roughly, depending, we have, we've had different courses over the year, depending on the flood that wiped out Seven Oaks or the fire that closed down Radford. Normally they go into the Seven Oaks Valley and do the Santa Ana River Trail and come up Radford and then all skyline on this side. So we have we have a 30k. It's kind of just a fun ride for people to come out and like do a mountain bike race and beautiful views on the top of you know Gorgonio and you can just see everything. You know that's kind of the fun. Then we have a 50k. It's kind of a little bit more legit race, like 28 miles, got like 2,800 feet of climbing or even like 3,200 feet of climbing. And then we have a, a 75k, which is like one of the NUE categories. And that's uh, 6,800 feet of climbing and 75k. And then we have the 100k, which is closer to 9,500 feet of climbing and the 100k. That's know, insane, bikers. man. And the guys today, they finished in about 5.30, 5 hours and 30 minutes. It was The 100k? Laps. The 100k, yeah. Oh, so they're dude. doing like 13 miles an hour average on very technical, twisty turns. And climbing, you said almost 10,000 feet? Yeah, there's a lot of, and then pine knot at the end, they have to go up that three times, so it's it's pretty arduous. Dude. And then we have a lot of vendors that come, like Kenda Tires, we have Electric Bike Company, we have uh, Turner Bicycles, a lot of companies come out, we're sponsored by Sierra Nevada, Hammer Nutrition, and Rin Sports, a bunch of companies, we have a raffle and a giveaway, we have a beer garden, and there's some organic food. That's and, awesome, you know, man. Just That's have awesome. a good event, we do it once a year, it's been 10 years part of open air big bear which is a series there's a huge event next week called the kodiak yeah which is a huge national level event as well for ultra endurance running and they're gonna be running 100 miles it takes like 26 hours or 36 hours of running non-stop kind of crazy where's that at it's gonna be in the same exact lot no way next weekend. yeah so i'll have yeah. to come record that then because uh just uh i used to be athletic but believe it or not man <laughs> <laughs> and uh I admire what you guys are doing. You guys are helping our town too. You guys are bringing a lot of people, um, a, a lot of money to the town as well. And uh, hopefully the people that come up will end up joining what you guys are all about. And uh, um, my channel is called Big Bear Weather and More. Okay. So I, I've, I've, I've been doing that for like eight and a half years up here. I got about 3,300 videos, 21 plus thousand subscribers, just, uh, just on, our town. Promoting Trying. Big Bear. Yeah, Telling man. you about yeah. the weather. Telling people about everything. So I have Absolutely. Bear Valley Bikes, bike shop at the top of Red Ant Hill. I've been there since 1995. I'm a longtime racer, team manager. have my own bike brand and stuff. I just kind of do everything. I was on the board of trustees for SA Cycling and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, we wow. just kind of want to showcase the best trails in Big Bear, you know, for the athletes so they can come here and spend the weekend or spend, they come usually early and pre-ride. I mean, it's a, it's a big enough deal now that you get people coming like every single year. We have one guy who's done it 10 years in a row. Wow. Um, and they come every year and they come and they pre-ride and they train on the course and they, you know, and then they come back for the actual event. That's oh, just a fun event. You, so like, uh, I know that this will sound ridiculous, but I like to do complete videos. So like if it takes five hours to do a whole bike race, like, uh, 
it, is there any possible way to get the whole trail on my on my channel? Like, I, I'll give someone a GoPro that they can keep afterwards, but to like record the so whole ride for me? I have a GoPro channel and I have some of the rides up on that channel. They're not in the entirety. It's just with five hours it, no, of uploading sure. insanity. So I take little clips about a minute of every cool kind of thing. And I okay. kind of explain, I also do some instruction on like what to think about or what to do or where to fuel on different race courses and different kinds of experience for that on my okay. channel. Okay. And All it's right. just my name, Derek What's your Herman. Channel? Yeah, and I can get you any of that. Derek Herman? Yeah, Derek Herman. All right, cool. Yeah, the Herman cool. So the Herman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. That's yeah, awesome, bro. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is at the very beginning of this video, I'm just going to tell them to please watch to the very end because the guy who runs this whole thing, Derek Herman, will be telling you guys all about it. Um, yeah. yeah, they can go to my channel. I got the 30K up and different parts of all the different sections of Skyline and all that footage of me going for the KLM the fastest time in history and coming up short, but just in my daily training. So I, have, I basically have, you know, GoPro on my bike every single time I ride sure, and there's sure. a deer or bear or whatever, but I just like ride all the trails at like full speed. Yeah, a lot of times dude, that's too. awesome, man. And you can just see like, oh, that's a trail. That's, <laughs> that's, that's how you do it, you know? It's fun. It's really fun. Well, I admire that, my man. Yeah, so thanks so much for coming No, out. Derek, thank you for coming yeah. to say hello, man. Yeah, Derek Herman, you guys. Yeah, we'll see you again soon. If you see him, come say hello to him. <laughs> Bear Valley Bikes. Bear Valley Bikes, guys. Take care, Derek. All right, guys, so I guess our video is now going to be completed, but how cool is that? He came over because he saw that we were doing some recording, and I wanted to make sure that we uh, we actually at least got an interview of somebody. The first interview we just did, a really, really neat person who recognized the channel, but it's good that we got an interview with someone who actually uh, has something to do with the whole event, and apparently he puts a lot of this together. So, yeah, Derek Herman. Peace out, guys. October 7th, 2023. Hope you enjoyed the short little video. I was like, that's Nick. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Finally, Nick. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Thanks for saying hello. hello. Take care, guys. <laughs> okay. Now the video is going to end. All right, guys. That's awesome. Quite a few fans have come up to me today. That's, that's amazing. Two of them you didn't see because I didn't have the camera on. But anyway, thanks guys. Take care. I'll see you guys later. October 7th, 2023.